once he found out he had cancer, he didn't have a lot of time left. Yeah. As far as That's I scary. know. And I don't, we don't even know, like, how, you know, that was like for him emotionally. Oh. Really. Horrible. I mean, if people brought up death around him, he'd tell him, like, I, I'm not going to die. Death was not a thing with Walt Disney. Unless yeah. it's, unless you're Bambi's mom. Totally. His image as a person has been very ruined <laughs> in today's society. Unless you're, most people think, oh, Disney was just this corporate jerk. That's what most people think. The majority. Yeah. yeah. And, but I'd say the majority in academia or people that are, you know, more Marxist. But if you look at the general American population, I think they are very, um, you know, they recognize what he's accomplished and they appreciate it. No, they recognize films. it. But like I said, well, we're talking, there's a difference. Here's his legacy and then there's his image as a person. Sure, sure. His image as a person is like he was just this corporate jerk that like was, you know, terrible to his employees and, you know. But, you know, obviously they don't take away the fact that he revolutionized anim animation and all that. Yeah, and I mean, like, I yeah. I just disagree. Like, I don't think it's true. He was terrible to his employees. He was constantly I don't think so trying to get them raises. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah, and I mean, no. he did not care about money. That's the real, the real takeaway is the guy would put every single dollar he had. He mortgaged his entire home, everything he owned to build Disneyland when nobody else believed in it. I mean, some people believed in it, but nobody understood it. Mm -hmm. And only he saw that vision. And so he was, he risked everything he had. And his wife told him she was worried at that time. If he died, she said they'd have no money and they would, you know, be screwed because um, he put everything on the line when he was building mm -hmm. it. So it's just not fair. And, but it is interesting because there is so much controversy about it. even the racism yeah. thing, like with um, uh, the whole Splash Mountain now being rebuilt because it's based off of Song of the South. Um, okay. <laughs> which I don't I mean, what's what racism? Song All right. of the South. So I guess think? we'll. <clears throat> so Disney... was Walt Disney racist? <laughs> yeah, well, like we did. We did. What was Walt Disney a Nazi? Now we're going to ah. what was he <laughs> a racist? Oh, my mm. God. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I mean, there's no denying that a lot of, you know, a lot of the cartoons have like racial stereotyping to today's standards. Yeah. You know, racial a lot of times, sensitive. yeah, they'll have like blackface or something in a Mickey Mouse cartoon or something like that. So, I mean, there's definitely. I mean, yeah, Disney racial. Plus has like a warning on their videos, yeah. like. This contains culturally yeah, all of them outdated references. Yeah, it's like all of them this, have that. Like they're talking about <laughs> like some cartoon where the Mickey's like walking through. I don't know. I'm like, what? <laughs> we're culturally, I don't know. Yeah. And, it's just, there were just stereotypes in our culture of Native Americans and black people yeah. and Chinese. Peter Pan has, uh, that's yeah. a pretty bad sequence. The, I like that sequence, but nice, it, is, dude, nice. it is racist. Uh, hopefully but not. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, even Fantasia has a skit. I like that sequence. <laughs> it is racist, but like... No, I, I mean, like it's... it's shoot a hoop. It's racially insensitive, but I mean, I do like it. Yeah. Obviously. Love that movie. Fantasia has a sequence where like, uh, I don't know what you call those guys with like the hooves. Well, feet. they cut that out. Yeah. They have that scene in it where, you know, centaurs, they're like... Slick. Yeah, centaurs. Yeah. And they're like black and they're like, they have change, I think, or something like that. Uh, so, I mean, they have like stereotypes like that. But um, Song of the South. Song of the South was a movie that he made for the black community, uh, which I mean, I've never even. Yeah, I'm you not can't even, see it. I, yeah. The, Disney's really trying to, especially now, is they're really trying to act like the movie never happened. Which this so, is controversial. Yeah. But look, I don't see any evidence that the movie itself was racist at all. And well, they are I, slaves, right? No, they're not. It's <laughs> after it's um, during the Restoration era. Okay. So it's right after slavery. And the reason why he was seen as racist is because he's like this really happy singing songs like Black Man. Now, yeah. I don't know the context too much, but I what, seen it, yeah. what I'm saying is I Same. it could be very racially insensitive. That could be for sure be a thing. And there was a whole problem when he was making the film that he wasn't talking to enough African-Americans to help him make it. 
but to say it's racist, there is no evidence of that film. I mean, it was beloved by black and white Americans for decades. Yeah. It and was one would, of his most successful films. Right? Yeah, they re-released it. It was it made them a lot of money. It saved the studio in a and lot of ways. That was one of the first movies to combine animation with live action. In the right? way they did it. Yeah. Well, because there's that's always been around, but in the way that it was done in that film. Yeah, like, that's always been around. Mary Poppins. They even style. do it. They even do it in Fantasia. Yeah. So that's it's like true. it's like color. Which was in it's, the early forties. Like color's always been around. Sound. Yeah. There's always been experiments. So it's hard to say, but you know what I meant. But yeah, but the film, the reason it got that stereotype, a lot of it had to do once again with opposition from um, magazines. It's like what what are people going to say twenty years from now about? Um, certain people that we may see now and we're like they're not doing anything wrong but because of the media narrative that's progressed and it isn't checked on in 20 years yeah. what is the history book going to say so i think it's no. the same thing with that film the reputation is way worse than the film itself that's what it seems like i've always really wanted to watch it peter pan's in it too i think uh forgot that actor's name bobby driscoll he has a very depressing story too but whatever i don't know anything about that <laughs> you don't know anything about no. well we're talking about walt disney so i won't get into what happened story. to peter pan i mean thumbnail, i could talk about it a, a little bit but he peter would... pan's like hanging in the background and we're like oh. <laughs> thumbnail dude <laughs> <laughs> no well yeah well we, we could talk about him another time he has a big story so yeah but uh uh, now I lost my train of thought. About, <laughs> so we're we're talking about you wanted to watch the film you're saying. We're talking about Song of the South and uh, how that movie has a really bad reputation, and how you know, I mean, I don't know whether or not Disney was racist. I don't think he was, but I mean, you know, like I said, it was just something that was engraved into the American culture throughout the twenties through the sixties, yeah. especially through the twenties through the sixties. Yeah. So, you know. Um, there, you know, a lot was, it was a different time. Yeah. It was a, and we have to understand that when you watch older movies, you can't like accuse them of all this crap, you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you have to be willing to look at it. I mean, that's why I hate some criticism classes or whatever I'll take in film. And you're looking at the film as if it was made today in the same context and critiquing it like that when um the what we consider now to be uh politically correct or whatever maybe in 20 years people are going to be like oh that was way too much or they're going to say oh, that wasn't enough well but i'm just yeah. saying like you can't you can't look at like you have to look at the culture like you're saying in the context around what happened yeah exactly it's even like how you know you're destroying statues now you know that kind of thing because you know yeah. If they're trying to rewrite the history, acting like it never happened, but that's never the way that you're supposed to address anything. <laughs> yeah. So just I just ignore the problem. You know? It never yeah. happened. <laughs> that's not how so it works. Why, like, yeah. you know, that's not how it works. So with Disney, especially with his films, I mean, you know, you, we shouldn't act like, you know, it wasn't a different time. You know. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I mean, all of his films have like such a timeless quality because he decided to focus on a lot, a lot of his films on grim fairy tales, which a lot of people have accused Disney. I actually just had a conversation with my friend about it. He was like, oh, you know, all of Disney's movies were just a ripoff of fairy tales. And then he just, you know, nice. <laughs> yeah, they were just a ripoff of fairy tale books. And then, you know, he... Which isn't even true at all. <laughs> they would change yeah. everything about them. Yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he just hired a bunch of animators and he didn't have any talent, which isn't true. But that's his... That's most of the people that I've talked to, Josh. That's what they think of when they think of Walt Disney. You have this so. thing about you that everyone you talk to, <laughs> talk to somehow is like this really negative, like, what? viewpoint about something. <laughs> or it's like controversial. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, like well, you show some of your script and then they like, you know, no problem. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Walt Do you even Disney know what write? sucks. Well, it's because, you know, we live in a time where, you know, if you're rich, if you're successful, then people hate you. Yeah. Basically. Well, you know, That's... you're, you're the oppressor. If you, if you have power, you obviously oppress somebody to get there, which, how is that true? Well, like if we're talking about Disney, which we are. How did he get to that point? By making other people happy. And that's the thing too. Pursue things that make the world a better place to make people happy, to make them enjoy life. 
like Disneyland, for example, which the whole thought was, where could I go with my kids that makes me happy? And I enjoy also. And he was thinking, how can I make something for adults to enjoy? Right, right? right. Now, that's the same exact thing with with people that find success in life, mm. especially through capitalism. It's because they're trying to pursue something that makes other people's lives better. And that's no. always what, who finds success? The people that that's innovate true. and create something. No, that's true. Yeah, like the people that are just genuinely trying to create something and you're right. Yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, Disney is the epitome of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there will never be someone like Walt Disney, you know, again. And yeah, I mean, sadly, he, you know, he died in uh, 1966, right? December 12th. It was like right at 15th, or 14th. Yeah. He was born on the 7th or 6th. So. Of December? But yeah, he died right near his birthday. He, yeah. And December. he died. Christmas. <laughs> ah! He's dead. <laughs> No, 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 no. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> he died from um, smoking. And yeah, he, when, yeah, he... Uh, from smoking, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> lung he's, cancer. He smoked, choked on a cigarette, people. <laughs> Don't smoke. All right. Yeah, he, he, had, he had a lung cancer. And he smoked a lot throughout his entire adult life. Can I just so. take this moment to say smoking is just really, really dangerous? And it's really, it's a bad. Smoking it's, kills. It's a bad thing. All right, we know. I just want to say that. <laughs> well, I mean, we live in a time where like we have a million commercials where they're like, if you smoke, you die. <laughs> what about the ones in the lazy? They yeah. Have, like, a hole in their like, throat. We, <laughs> yeah, like, they have holes in their throat. Why do I need throat? to see this? <laughs> I, I smoked a, a pack a day. And now look at me. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, we definitely live in a culture where it's the polar opposite. Like if yeah, you smoke, yeah. then you're which I get, if I was Walt Disney, I mean I always talk about this. I like cigarettes. I like the way they look. I don't smoke, but I like the way they look. And I like the he way it's in movies. <laughs> what I mean is in movies. And yeah. if you're working on they something do constant to thing. be able to smoke and that allows your mind the freedom. Like I bite my nails because I get nervous. Same. Smoking is like this thing, you know. You know, there's something what? about it. Like you're able to do stuff. No, well, smoking is a way for you to kind of relieve yourself. Yeah. And he That's would smoke them do down it. to like literally the little nub, like, like that, you know, like, like it would, it would be like this. Yeah. So, yeah. And it, you know, it killed him, sadly. And uh, once he found out. No, 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 no. It's so dark. <laughs> You no, know, it's dark. <laughs> Some stuff. I mean, that's the thing, you know. Uh, I think, yeah, once he found out he had cancer, he didn't have a lot of time left. Yeah. As far as that's I scary. know. And I don't, we don't even know, like, how, you know, that was like for him emotionally. Oh. Really. Horrible. I mean, he never talked about death. Yeah. Ever. He would, if people brought up death around him, he'd tell him, like, I, I'm not going to die, basically. Like, I think he would say stuff like that. Like, death was not a thing with Walt Disney. Unless yeah. it's unless you're Bambi's mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of his movies have Mother. death in them. <laughs> yeah, his movies we have things of death. <laughs> yeah, sad. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, his movies have theme of death. Well, yeah, in his them, but... which is a criticism of him also that he didn't deal with realism, didn't deal with. Um, Not true at he, all. Yeah. Bambi is like <laughs> his movies were just you know fake and for children and didn't really show about the world. But that I hate when true. people make fun of you for liking Disney too. Like, <laughs> like that guy, Peter Pan. You like Peter Pan? What? <laughs> what <laughs> What's is wrong, wrong with you? <laughs> oh, what are you, a five-year-old? Are you gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you like, Peter like Pan adult is gay. movies? <laughs> Peter Pan is gay. <laughs> it's like a 12-year-old. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's exactly. so stupid. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, it sucks. And what's really sad about Disney, I guess we can talk about Disney now. You have a cry face. <laughs> well, Walt okay. Disney died? Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so his brother Roy took over the company right after he died, and he created Disney World. Well, there's um, the the backstory is he was about to like they were about to start building Epcot, which that is kind of when we started this conversation about building. Like there was no ceiling. The guy was going to build like a mini country, mm -hmm. 
and he created a whole city model with this. I mean, the way he did it was brilliant. You know, it it was designed like a wheel with the spokes in the wheel and to minimize traffic and with multiple layers and with they um, had designs temper on it? they had the entire city mapped out. Wow. Planned. I see you that. can watch it on YouTube. Watch it right now if you guys are interested. You can watch his original um pitch. Because Disney used television to promote Disneyland, which was revolutionary. Yeah. But he also used it to promote Epcot. And there's a 30 minute clip. Um, of Walt Disney. I think it's on Disney Plus too, but um, it's definitely on YouTube that he goes over what Epcot is. Watch it. It's un, It's so incredible to see that creative level of thought go beyond. I mean, when he was dying, because you said, what was it like for him to deal with that? He he told um, uh, one of his animator friends, I think, but he's like, he's like, gee, imagine being remembered for a mouse. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, all this and I'm remembered for a mouse. <laughs> because he, he wanted more yeah and i think he's remembered for more than a mouse but no he's re he's remembered for all of the animated films even the ones that came disneyland after. and yeah and disneyland innovating the and he's and technology he's engraved into our culture in the entire world everybody knows about yeah. walt disney I mean, his name is everywhere yeah and that's i mean i can't think of anybody else really in the creative field more that's the most recent as walt disney which is the 60s that's been as revolutionary as he has. Really, there hasn't been anybody else. There has uh, been. Um, I mean, there's people, there's artists and stuff that are like in great. I'd say Michael culture. Jackson. I knew you were gonna say that. That's, and I, I guess no, really. in terms I guess, of impact on the world. Yeah, and you could say an like Star Wars with George Lucas, like his George Lucas, his creation of Star Wars is everywhere. Uh, like if I went to Japan, they know about Star Wars. They're yeah, everywhere. like global impact yeah. of one man would be. Walt Disney, Mike, yeah. Walt Disney, and Michael Jackson. I would bet, like I, I think you could prove that, really. Michael Jackson, yeah, this he really likes Michael Jackson. Everyone likes tell. Michael. He's Michael. No, Jackson. Wait, actually, Michael Jackson nice is very, very nice. similar to Walt Disney. His I'll play a Michael Jackson song is, right now. Yeah. Somebody's gonna start dancing. <laughs> his music is it's the same thing as Walt Disney. His the things that he created, people love him as a person. People, yeah, it's gotten Jackson. destroyed. We'll do an episode on Michael Jackson for sure. There's a lot to talk Coming about. Coming up, guys, was Michael Jackson a uh, die? Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, Disney, you know, after, you know, he died, obviously they didn't end up creating the Epcot. city that he wanted to create. Yeah. Because uh, Roy didn't really understand it. So he just made it into another amusement park. I mean, I don't even know if it's he didn't understand it. It's that no one said, no one had the vision. I think right after he died, the people funding um the disney company wrote rory and said walt disney is dead and so is epcot dark because <laughs> they yeah i mean it's real and walt knew that and it terrified him and it, like some of his last wishes was to do epcot and look what they did it's uh oh an open mall that you pay a 100 bucks to go to that's not epcot <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> it's nothing like it yeah the only piece of the epcot now is that it's a world fair where you have different cultures and architecture in one place. But that was a piece of what it was supposed to be, which was a was, massive city. Was Epcot kind of like um, that the thing in Disneyland? Um, you, you should know what I'm talking about. The world. Tomorrowland? World. Yeah, Tomorrowland. Was nice. it kind of like that? <laughs> um, no. Epcot wasn't a theme park. It was a city that people live in. It's like... Right. Well, Tomorrowland is supposed to be like a future. No, but this is city. like an actual city that people live in. Yeah, I know. So, it was that was an entertainment theme park land. So it wasn't. <laughs> okay, okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> you can't live forever. So, where I mean, that's what he struggled with. He he thought of liquidating the entire company after he dies, because you can't live up to that name, in his mind. And um, that's what I realized too. I was like, why hasn't Disney like in recent years? It's because you don't have. The creative, you don't have a creative genius. And geniuses only come around, you know, so few and far between. And he was the one behind it, the vision behind mm -hmm. it all. And he was the one willing to build a city and willing to do things that nobody else was. And once you lose that, you can, even with Michael Eisner and great leadership and great creative art, directors and artists, yeah. you still, you It's never, not the same. It still wasn't the same. The ambition is yeah. there. It wasn't the same. Films. Yeah. They're making parks. But they're not building cities, and that's why they're not Walt Disney. <laughs>